Uh, this is an antique salamander safe. Um, it was made by Williams and Adams, uh, but a number of different people made them in the 1800s. From some research, I believe it's about 1850s vintage. Uh, it is 38 wide by 30 deep by, with the wheels, 55. The actual safe is 48. Um, it is on wheels, so I don't think it's a roll that easily. Yeah, not very easily. Try to um, The key does work, but it needs a little repair. It's kind of, part of the reason they made these this way was a new kind of a new technology for the time. You can't put anything in the keyhole to blow out the lock, um, so they're pins. The problem is this pin's a little loose, so it needs either a new key made or this needs to be like tack welded and ground down or something, or maybe some epoxy, I'm not sure, but I'll show you how it works. You just kind of hold the pin in. So inside, it's got these shelves that are made of wood. The uh, back wall is made of wood. It has a small damage back there, but for the most part, the inside's in good shape. Um, I think those shelves are actually adjustable, too. Yeah, these are actually, there's holes. You can move them to different heights if you want them. Um, I'm not, you can come over here. I'm not going to actually close the door and lock it. I'm just going to show you the lock pins do work. So, I'm going to put some oil on this. I can't put a hand on it. So, there's a little groove right here where the key goes. There's pins there. So, what happens is all these pins go in and push in those to a certain depth. That is what I was talking about. This one's messed up and doesn't want to go in, so you just got to kind of help it a little bit. So, once that's in there, I mean, you could push it in without, you know, hold it in over here. That pin was fixed. You would turn this over the top of it. And then you see, I believe it went the right direction here. There you go, it's unlocked. Unlocked there and then relocked. The key comes back out. And that's it.